I'm Nathan Ray, this is Leading Zeros. A hot shoe mount for my wireless HDMI dongle. Let's make this thing. So for a bit of background, I have this Powerlynx Arrow HDMI dongle, sender. This sends the HDMI signal from the camera to the receiver. Now the receiver does actually have a, um, a quarter 20 screw there for, for putting this on a on a tripod or, or whatever there. But that's actually sitting next to a monitor or plugged into my television studio, so that doesn't really need to be mounted. That's fine the way it is. But the dongle, which goes on the camera, this doesn't really have, there's no connections or fittings. So up till now, I've just taped it. I've used taped it to a handle or taped it to something like this. But today I'm going to mount it onto a screw, which can go onto the hot shoe like so and I'm going to use something which I've never used before which is this Sugru moldable glue stuff so let's open this up and see how it works make sure the surfaces are clean and dry okay it said it need, the surface needs to be clean and dry to get a good seal because of that I'm going to go a bit over the top and use some nail polish remover to really get everything off it I'm also fixing this. Clean your hands, cut the foil packet open. Ugh, gross. Now the reason I'm using uh, this stuff is it says it's good um, up to um, 180 degrees which is I mean this doesn't get that hot but after this has been running for a few hours this does get quite hot and um, I want the air circulation as good as possible so air can circulate through it which is why I don't want to put tape around it any longer and I want to use up as small a small space as possible so it says roll it in your hands it says if you put too much on you just cut it off with a knife afterwards but let's see if I can get this right first time Uh, too much was squished in the middle there, so I'm gonna... Perfect, I think that's um, about as good as I'm gonna get it. Also, um, I've broken the, one of the little hot shoe plates off here, so I'm gonna, as I've got some left over, I'm gonna fix this. That's it. Okay, now this, because this doesn't have a, a power source in it, it means this has to be powered. It can't draw power from the hot shoe, obviously. So, well, the way I'm gonna do it is by adapting a selfie stick mount for a, a, a cell phone. But I'm gonna use it to mount a battery onto there, uh, like this but it, it's, it, move, it doesn't quite fit on there as snugly, it moves sideways. So what I'm gonna do is use the rest of this to put a, uh, a bit down the side here and maybe a bit here so it, so it hugs this battery tightly. And what I'm gonna do, just scoring that up a bit there. I think that'll just make the, the glue stick a lot better onto the, onto the edge bit there. That there. Put the battery on. So I'm quite surprised how much I got out of just one of these packets. I've uh, mounted the quarter 20 screw onto the 
um, HDMI wireless uh, dongle. Um, I've also been able to fix uh, the cold shoot on uh, this bracket here, and I've added these um, these soft uh, rubbery grips to the side of this battery holder so it can hold this external battery. Um, yeah, so that's all come out of one uh, little packet. Now I've got it all over my hands and over my work table here, so I'm going to clean it up now. Um, and in a minute, you'll be able to see how it's uh, how it's worked out once it's all dried and gone off. Um, stick around. Okay, this is part two of the Subaru fix that I did for the wireless HDMI uh, dongle sender. I'm in Spaceport Tex in Manchester, which is why my backgrounds have changed. So let's take a look at what I've done. So starting with the HDMI uh, sender, we can see that the Subaru's gone really quite hard, like into that silicon, that rubber feeling, and it's on there really tight, which means that I can get a uh, little hot shoe adapter here and screw it on like so, and then tighten that one on so it grips it nice and tight and then obviously pop this one onto a shoe like so and also I used a bit of the Sugru to attach this little uh, clip thing the actual shoe back onto this metal thing it's bonded really really well between the metal the two metal parts I'm really happy with that and remember I also adapted this mobile phone holding uh, mount from a selfie stick and uh, to hold the batteries which we use to power the the HDMI dongle, the sender, and that is really nice. The extra bit of Sugru here really holds the battery in tight and that's that's not going anywhere. And that can also fit onto the uh, shoe mount here with a little adapter, like so. That should provide power. Um, will that come on in a second? There we go. So that is now powered up and sending the HDMI um, to the base station. Overall, yes, I'm really impressed with this stuff. I'm going to use it again in the future, which is good because I bought a pack of three. Um, so that just one of the little packs of this did all three applications which I needed to be able to make the, the mounts here. And obviously my camera uh, is going to go there. If you have any questions about the setup here or about any of my setups please post them below or you can follow me I'm at Nathan Ray on Twitter please subscribe if you want to see more build videos and videos of the tech setups I do when I'm live streaming at lives event live events and anything else which is going along thanks for watching there we are perfect and now, if I get this the right way up, that is going to go onto those bolts and onto those bolts. <laughs>